This video is for informational and entertainment purposes only and it's not financial advice. Please consult a qualified financial advisor before making any financial decisions. Hello, my name is Elias. I'm the business development manager at Infinity Hash. And today I want to give you a quick overview of our new community marketplace, which gives users the possibility to sell and buy shares with other community members. Please keep in mind uh, that the that the marketplace is still in, in its beta phase. So basically there are still a lot of improvements and functions and features and design updates that uh, we are currently implementing. But we decided to bring it online nevertheless uh, to give users the ability to start trading and also to give users and community members the ability to give us feedback on the current design and the current functions so we can improve the marketplace right during development. And you can always, if you find any problems or you have any ideas uh, for improvements, we are always happy to um, receive any feedback on Telegram or in Discord or via email. Um, and uh, just drop us a message and or send us screenshots of what you what you wish to have improved or which um, areas you had any problems with, and we'll try to improve it right uh, now during development. So basically, there are two areas in the new marketplace. And um, the first area is the information display area at the top. And the other area is the RD sell and buy functions at the bottom. And I'll go over the information area at the top real quick to give you an, an overview of what um, the different numbers and the chart here means. And then we'll, we'll make a few uh, sell orders and buy a few existing community sell orders. And uh, I'll go over the history and um, over what we have planned with uh, community buybacks by Miatek, which is the company behind Infinity Hash. So let's go into the information display at the top. Basically, we have um, with the first card, um, we just we are just displaying the current number of Infinity Hash shares that are for sale on the community marketplace. Currently, this is also taking into account your own shares and we will probably change this to make it a bit clearer. And below the share number that is for sale, uh, we also display the average price for which those shares are for sale. And we'll also um, probably display uh, some other metrics like the current minimum price of any community sell orders in the order book here. And uh, basically to, to give you uh, quick information, if you can get shares cheaper on the community marketplace, then you can get them if you buy new shares, um, which also relates to the next card, which is displaying the current share price in USDT and in Bitcoin. And this share price is the same price uh, you would pay if you buy shares via the main page of the dashboard uh, with the big buy shares button. Quickly explain uh, what the difference between shares, new shares you buy via the main page of the dashboard and shares you buy here on the community marketplaces. New shares you buy from the main page of the dashboard are shares where we take the money you pay for them and buy new miners for them to back those shares. And if you buy new shares, this increases the total number of shares in the project and therefore also its market cap. And if you buy shares uh, from the community marketplace, you are buying the shares uh, from another user. So this doesn't change any amount of hash rate behind the total number of shares or of the project. This is just you selling peer-to-peer -to, -peer to another user um, or to another community member. Under the two big cards, we have three cards um, that are displaying trading volume. So basically, this is just the daily volume, the weekly volume, and the monthly volume in USDT. So the total volume in USDT value of shares that was traded. And um, under the USDT display, we have the total amount of shares, so the number of shares that was traded in the respective time period. The other half of the information display area is the same chart we have on the main page of the dashboard, which is displaying the share price history in US dollars in white and the value of your Infinity Hash shares um, also over time since the inception of the project in blue or light cyan. And just to, to make sure this light blue line or the your share value um, line is only taking into account your infinity has shared uh, shares. This is not taking into account any other cryptocurrencies you might hold on your dashboard account. Um, because 
um, those aren't needed uh, here in the marketplace. And we want to make the dashboard as easy for new, new users as possible. There are a few things we already know that we will change and improve. And one of those things is also displaying the daily, weekly, and monthly volume in Bitcoin. And to also give you all prices, so like the average share price or the minimum share price in Bitcoin, so that uh, people that are using Bitcoin as the denomination currency uh, for infinity hash shares um, can easily see what current prices are. So that's that's it for the for the information area. And uh, let's go to the two main functions of the community marketplace. And we'll go over the second function first, which is the sell shares function. And here you can just input the amount of shares you want to sell and the price per share you want to sell them for. And the price here is uh, denominated in US dollars, or in this case, since we don't have any real US dollars um, in our dashboard, it's always USDT. And if you input, let's say we want to we want to sell one share for one dollar and fifty cent, you will see the total amount of USDT you will get for the sell order should it be sold right here. And if I click on sell shares, I will be asked if I really want to put this order into the order book. And if I click OK, the site reloads real quick, and I can see my sell order here. So I will I will cancel all the other orders for now to to basically make it easier to show you the functions. And if you cancel any order, you just click on cancel and click on OK. And the order will cancel and the page will reload. We will improve this so that the whole page doesn't have to reload. Um, this is still in beta phase. So this is basically like the minimum viable product we, we rolled out in order to give everyone the ability to exit their positions and to test the marketplace. So a quick note on sell orders. If you go up here or on the main page of the dashboard, we currently have a price or a sell price for new shares, which is at $1.03. Any sell orders that you put into the community marketplace that are above this price, so everything above $1.03, will not be displayed to other community members. This is in order to prevent people from inputting something like, I want to sell one share for $100,000 and other users losing money to them by using the market order up here. So this is just a security precaution. If I don't cancel this order for $1.50 per share, it will be displayed to other community members as soon as the sell price for new shares reaches this price here of $1.50. So just that you know, we might be able to change this in the future and display warning, but um, we didn't want any users losing money because of this. So we implemented this as a security, um, as a security feature for now. And of course, we'll inform you uh, in one of the next update videos or in one of the next weekly updates about any changes we do to the cell function here. To sum it up, this is basically a limit order uh, where you can specify the sell price and it will stay in the order book until you cancel it or until someone else from the community buys your limit order. Then uh, we can go to the next function or to the first function in this case, which is the buy community shares function. This is working like a market order and it will take it will look at the order book and take the cheapest um the cheapest offers from it um and take from those cheap offers first because before it goes to offers that are less cheap basically so in this case we have two sell orders from other community members here both are over one infinity hash share and one has the price of one us dollar and the other one has the price of one us dollar and one cent so if I input one share here as the amount of shares I want to buy and click on buy shares, it will take the cheap order first. Or as another example, I could input 0 0.5 shares here and click on buy shares and it will automatically take half a share or 0 0.5 shares from the cheapest sell order that is currently in the order book here. And there is still a small error 
um, with the buy orders and this is the display of the average share price. Currently this is just taking all sell orders in the whole order book and calculating the average price and based on this average price displaying the cost to you but the cost is actually cheaper um, because it will take the cheapest orders first. So if I want to only buy half a share um, it will take half a share from the cheapest order in the order book which is currently or which currently has a share price of one US dollar and this would result in a total cost of 50 cents in USDT or an average share price of one dollar as the limit order here and um, basically if you want to be 100% sure you can also go down here and buy an individual sell order so you will be sure to exactly get the price that is displayed here and not just the cheapest price if you buy um, individual sell orders from the community, you can also enter um, the amount or the number of shares you want to buy from the single order. So there are still uh, 0.5 shares left in the sell order. And I could say, okay, I, want, I only want to buy half of this input uh, 0 0.25 um, infinity hash shares as the amount here. Click on buy. And this will, this will actually display um, the correct the correct uh, sell price so are you sure that you want to buy 0 0.25 shares at a price of one dollar so it will cost me 25 cents and i can just confirm here by clicking on ok the page will reload which will be fixed in the future and as you can see the shares were uh, have been added to to my dashboard account and in this sell order there are only 0 0.25 shares left so um let's test the let's test the market order and how it works real quick here so in total there are 1.25 shares left and i could just use this number one point shares and um if i click on buy shares now it will buy up the complete order book starting from the cheaper order and then going to the next that's basically th those are the those are the two new functions and um, we plan on adding also adding more information here something like an input where you can specify what the maximum price you want to pay for uh, any infinity shares is so in this case uh, as soon as we implement the new max price input um, you could specify something like i only want to buy shares that are below 90 cents per share in usdt and um, then the bulk market buy order here will only buy up shares that are below the specified price so that's that's basically it for those um, two main functions and i will cancel my sell order here too so it doesn't stay in the marketplace for this price and we can look at the history at this this is basically the trading history of your account and it displays any sell or buy orders you conducted on the community marketplace this is not taking into account any sell or buy orders um, you did on the home page of the of the dashboard uh, this is just for the community marketplace and we will also add um we will also add a date and uh time to those to 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 clearly show when and uh, when exactly you have bought or sold any shares and uh, via the export button you can export your buy and sell history uh, which comes in handy if you want to do any any tax calculation and it will download or export a csv file um, which you can open with um, programs like excel or numbers if you're on a mac or uh, libreoffice calc if you're on linux and you can also use the csv file to import your buy and sell history into a tax calculation program or into um, into any bookkeep bookkeeping programs. Um, we will add more features uh, for this in the future and um, also make a how-to video uh, for some uh, bigger uh, crypto tax calculation programs like coin tracking, crypto tax or Coinly. And that's basically it for the history, pretty straightforward. And the last um, feature in the community marketplace is the buybacks by Miatek. Um, if you're a new user, um, you probably don't know this, uh, but Miatek is the company behind the Infinity Hash project. So we are a bigger um, collocation mining provider 
uh, with uh, several thousand machines with different customers. And we started Infinity Hash as a, as a community project um, to, to give everyone the ability to invest in Bitcoin mining um, and not exclude anyone that doesn't want to buy their own machines and doesn't want to to basically put over two thousand dollars on the table just to to buy their first machine and for anyone that doesn't want to um take care of repairs and everyone everything that's in, involved if you if you choose collocation mining to invest in bitcoin mining so we are basically the company behind infinity hash and we um, want to make sure uh, sure that infinity hash stays a long-term project and we want to back our community so the buyback uh, feature will be a buyback program uh, where we as a company will put down money to buy back shares from community members and investors that wish to exit their positions so that's it um i hope this gave you a good overview of the features of the new community marketplace and as I mentioned before, this is still in beta. We will uh, release new features and improvements over the next days and weeks. And if you have any feedback or if you run into any bugs, please message us on Telegram or on Discord, and we will try to fix them as fast as possible. I wish you a successful week and until uh, the next video.